Hello, hello, my lovely friends, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be making some really fun tags, tabs, and pockets using vintage playing cards. Because as you all know, I love, 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 love numbers. And I love putting numbers in my journal and using numbers and... This is a great way to um, use up some playing cards that you have because I'm pretty sure we all have a box somewhere <laughs> in our supply stash that has more than one deck of vintage playing cards. Or maybe, you know, sometimes when you buy stuff at the Goodwill or at Value Village here, they bundle things up in a bag so that you have to buy the whole bag for $5 to get that one thing that you want in it. And almost always it seems that there's a deck of playing cards in there. And there are a ton of tutorials out on YouTube about some amazing way to alter playing cards and to have a lot of fun with playing cards and to use them to make little tiny collages or pieces of art or whatever, right? But I thought that it would be fun to use them and not so much embellish them or alter them, but just use them as is. And so I was working in my journal yesterday and I was doing some journaling about my birthday trip and my birthday. And I wanted to have a way to make an interesting number 26 because my birthday was May 26, right? So I had seen somewhere recently, somebody had taken a vintage card and they'd cut it in half and they'd put half of it on the side of the page to sort of create a tab, right? And I was like, ooh, I like that. Not only do I like it because it had numbers on it, but I just like the contrast of the white against the paper that they had it on, right? So anyway, so I thought, okay, well, let's get out a deck that I'm not super keen on and start playing around. And so I glued these two cards together to create a little pocket. And because I had my tag, where is it, from one of the things that I got on my birthday, and I thought, oh, I'm just going to tuck this tag in behind this pocket. That's going to look super cute. So it made me kind of think about other things that I could do that I could also share with you to put in my journal that would be super duper easy, because who doesn't love easy, right? So what I did was I got out a bunch of die cuts, or not die cuts, stamps, paper, paper, you know what I mean, <laughs> I'm having a senior's moment, um, and I just started playing, so I've come up with a couple things that I want to show you, because I think that you will really find them fun and easy, and like I said, we almost all have these cards, but maybe you're not in the mood to alter the card, or to create some sort of work with art, work of art with the card, you just want to, I don't know, put some tabs in or whatever, right? Or how about some little tags? So again, this isn't, I, you know, I, I'm not doing anything that's earth shattering, but I thought why I wanted to share it with you and why I thought you would like it was because it is so easy. And if it's not something that you haven't thought of, it's not something that you haven't, you haven't thought of. <laughs> You know what I mean, right? So, um, yeah, I, I, I'm really, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> the only downside is that I found that a lot of the paper punches that I had weren't really conducive to working with the number, the way the number sits at the top corner of the card. So now. I, I resisted. I, I, I first, I was going to go to Amazon and, da, 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 and I was like, no, don't use what you've got. So that's where we are. So without any further ado, let's turn the camera around. I'm going to show you what I've done and explain why I've done the things that I've done, like you do in a video. And uh, hopefully this will inspire you to do the same thing and to have some fun with some of those cards that you have in your stash that you don't really know what to do with. And if you don't want to have to spend all kinds of time inking them or painting them or doing whatever, then you don't have to. So let's turn it around and get started. 
Okie dokie. So let's start by me showing you where I think I would use some of these things and then we'll go in and start making them. But this will just sort of give you an overview of what I was thinking. Right, so here's that little pocket that I talked about there. And then, okay, so this, <laughs> this gem I'm absolutely ecstatic about. I just made it so that this would tip out and there could be some hidden journaling spots there and then this just gets tucked in there. I like to put these little things here as a way to just sort of help keep these in place and I think it looks pretty cute. Um, so yeah, so that's that. Then I toyed with the idea, I made the tag and I think that what I am going to do is I'm going to put two-way tape on here and then this will just become a tuck spot like this for certain things. Um, but I haven't glued it down just because I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Here's one of these tabs, which I absolutely, I'm going to make like a million of these. I love these. I just think they're so much fun. And then I put this little gem down here. This is something I really like to do a lot. Um, put something down at the bottom. So I would have, this again would be more for hidden journaling. So I would write do -do 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 in here and then cover it up with something. And then I like to be able to just tuck a piece of paper underneath something so that it holds it in place. And so I have the benefit of the beautiful piece of paper that I've chosen and I get the hidden journaling and I get to use something down here that's super cute, right? So I just put two-way tape on the back of that and then just glued that in there. The other thing I was thinking actually after I put this in, what would be nice about having this, because this is a little bit sturdy, you could probably, you could probably have a couple spots for journaling where you, this is cardstock, so this is a little bit thicker, but you could journal here obviously journal there tuck that in there and then tuck this in underneath so that would that would provide you with quite a bit of hidden journaling if that's something that you wanted to do and then i put the side tab there and then i created um one of the little tabs here and i stuck it at the top which i love this shape where it's straight and very angular on the one side and then the, the curve on that side. Here I was thinking about where it might be kind of fun to use these tags and I thought, ooh, a top, a, a top corner and using two-way tape or a little bit of glue and then you would just tuck something up in there like that. You don't have to put the, str the string and the grommet on it. I just, you know, decoration. <laughs> Because it's, it's not a journal unless you decorate it, right? Okay, now speaking of decoration, this does not make any sense at all. But the beauty of our journals is that they don't have to make sense. So I put a grommet in this die cut. Not Why do I call them die cuts? Paper punch here. And then I put the, the brad in there. And then I just thought that was kind of fun. So if I wanted the tab at the side with the four to poke out because I like the way that that looks great, which is probably what I do. But maybe I just want the little heart to poke out because that's how I was feeling that day. <laughs> I don't know. Here's the thing, when it comes to your junk journal, you don't have to explain anything to anyone about why or how, you just do it because it makes you happy. That's the number one rule, do it because it makes you happy. and. <laughs> spinny things are fun let's be honest right glue that there and that's just a fun again it's just fun because life is short let's have some fun you put it there put it there put it wherever you want but I have not glued it down just because I'm not sure okay so then here is another one of these little pockets so journaling here and so I probably will two-way tape this down into the corner and then just stick that in there like that something like that 
The other thing I thought about what you could do with something like this, depending on if you were so inclined, you could turn this into one of those um, paper clips like what we did the other day. Um, hang on just one second. Let me get a... Uh... So you could do something like this. Right, so you put the, remember we did that, and then you'd glue that on there, and then this becomes a hidden paper clip tag. And then if you wanted to, you could do like that. That would be your paper clip, and then you could have the hidden journaling spot there. Or if it was some sort of, you know, I, I think something like this would be helpful if you had something like a quote, or maybe some kind of poem, or something that you've, you've maybe printed out or copied out and you've glued it on here and it's something that really means a lot to you or something that you find very inspiring or some sort of mantra where you keep telling yourself over and over again to let go of something to remember something and so if you wanted to you could turn something like this into a a, a hidden paper clip so that you could move it throughout your journal and keep it in a spot where you're currently working um, just to so you could be like, oh yeah, I've got to remember that, right? Or, you know, you could always just do that too. Again, I'm just, you know, my inner child just lights up when I can make things move around. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Where did I have it? There. Okay, so potentially that goes there. But if you don't want to move it, you know, again, then it just becomes a nice pocket. You could probably could also make this an upper tuck. So something that could go underneath it there. So if you if you glued it or two-way taped it up there, then you could tuck that underneath there. Again, it could go in this corner up here. Whatever your little heart desires, my friends. Whatever your little heart desires. Okay, so do I have anything else? No, I think that's it. So let's get started on, I'll show you how I was sort of experimenting with some of my punches. And so let's get some, oh, I have this before I forget. Sorry, sorry. I did make a hidden paper clip. Again, if, if, if a number had a certain significance for you, I think that this kind of thing is a lot of fun. So you, and then I just used the king on the back. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. So let's start with this. This is We Are Memory Keepers, and I love, love using this. So I'm going to cut it just by the diamonds here. And then, so you just slide it in there. Now, I'm going to zoom in in editing so you can see this. This is one of those things where it's a little bit in how you hold your mouth <laughs> and how you hold your hands. So I kind of just get it into place and slowly um, start to, to press down. Um, I'm hoping that's in there. Um, and then that still allows me some room to adjust. Ah, got it. Yeah, I love that. That looks great. It's so simple, but it it's just fun. It's just fun. I was making some tiny ones. And so what I did with that, let's take the other side of this too. Where did it go? Here we are. So I'm just gonna cut this down a little bit so that it fits in here. So see, what I'm trying to do is, I, if I go like that, if you want the whole thing, you've, you're, you want to make sure that you get the card in, hang on, at the side here, so that you still get the rounded edges. Now, if you decide you don't want all of the rounded edges, what I did was, I just pulled it off just a little bit more than center. And then we got a mini tab. Oh, it's the small things in life that make me happy. <laughs> I'm 
telling you. This just lights up my world. All right, so I think we did, we had one, we had a number four, yeah. So that's that way, and then here I would just put it like on here. Mm -hmm. Right, wherever you want. You could even do it like that and still have this side poke out. Ah, so much fun. Um, so now let's see on something that was a little bit more, had a little bit more going on. You're not going to get that same sort of clean cut look if that's what you're after. If you're not after it, then it doesn't really matter. Just If I just get the eight tucked in around that corner there, there, that's all right. That's fun. Now, let's see if we do it like this with this eight here. And you just want, oops. Yeah, see, sometimes these things are a little bit, like I'm just thinking if you wanted a half eight or a half tab with this eight of diamonds. Then that would be something like that would be kind of fun that you could put at the top as a little tab at the top of a, a card or whatever you wanted. So that was the first of the paper punches that I started to play with. So yeah, that's the tab. We are memory keepers. Now, then I got out these and I got out this one. And I did get out some circles, but I have to be honest, I couldn't, I wasn't figuring out a way to make the circles work. Like maybe like that. Okay, let's do that. So I've just, what size is this? This is a one and one quarter inch. So that's good too. That's fun. So then that's something that you could, again, you could put at the top of the page, could go down, you know, on the, oh, I like that a lot. That's very fun. Now, the other thing, of course, that I'm not doing just for saving time, and um, you could ink around your edges. Um, just be careful sometimes because the cards are a little bit slick and they have this gloss on it. You just want to check and see that your ink will stay on and not rub off. See where we get with the nine. Can we do the same? Yeah, so I was struggling with placements, right? Um, so that, I mean, if you don't mind that part of your nine is gonna be cut off, that's not so bad. Um, ace, that's not bad, that works. Five, mm, again. Not so much. And then the bigger ones, I, I didn't have any luck. But again, depending on what you want to do. But so that's a happy surprise. So that was good. Um, I tried, this is uh, Fiskars. So what did I manage to do with the Fiskars? Okay, so this one here I did with the Fiskars. And I thought that this would be fun something that might go like that at the top of something or again on the side of something like that so what I did was um, did I cut it first I think I did yeah okay so I had to cut it down so let's cut the nine hmm. so this one I had so that the number was at the top and I'm trying to line it up so where these points are in the middle, which is where the, I mean, I could always cut it with the scissors. Oh boy. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do this one. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Barely. Ooh. Hmm. I like the, oh no, this is a different one. This is this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, well, okay, but that's, that's not, that's okay. 
again, I have to admit, I'm not as crazy about this as I am this. Uh, I'm just for giggles. Let's see if I, if I take this four. Hmm. Let's try this again. No. And if I put it up there. No, that's not going to work. Mm, I might be able to scooch. Ooh. It's okay, but I'm not loving it, I have to admit. So now let's, this one, um, EK, that's, this one was in here like this. This one I don't think is going to be wide enough. Yes, okay, that wasn't going to work. And I've put that right. So I'm putting the top of the playing card right at the corners where this die cut, you might fold it in half. Okay. That's kind of fun. I have to say, I like the eight better. But... So play around with your punches and see see what you can do and and play around. Um, this these cards weren't wide enough for me to do anything like that. Um, I don't. I think even that's kind of fun just to do. It, it doesn't have a number on it, but that's kind of a fun. That's kind of a fun tab. Hmm, I didn't center it clearly, but <laughs> you get what I'm doing. Uh, okay, let's see if we use um, something that's a little more full. Here's the nine of clubs. Hmm. No. So yeah, it's a bit of a, it's a bit tricky. Now let's try this. We're gonna punch the whole thing out. And then let's fold this in half. And that would actually be kind of fun as a little tab if you wanted to pull something out from the bottom maybe or even just like that yeah that i don't mind that or you could just glue that down and then have that or just if i mean that's pretty thick if you weren't gonna you could even do something like that that's not that's not bad i would probably just be tempted then to cut it and then glue it to the top. That's fun. I like that a lot. I think Some of cool. these fun scissors with the edging craft scissors. And I just cut. Not quite all the way. I When I first got these scissors, it was years ago, and I, I hardly used them. And I, I really wanted to, but I could just never find anything that really float my boat but um i dug them out not that long ago and was determined to have a lot of fun with them and i'm glad i did so i would glue that sort of at the top of a t uh, of a some sort of tag or something that's a great pull tab again at the side and this was the kind of thing that i used again here so I just put the two-way tape along there. You can use glue and then just use that as a, a little page holder, right? So you would maybe tape it or staple it across there. Yeah, I think that's a lot of fun too. Um, I got these fun, fun craft edgers from Denise for my birthday, Picket Fence. Thank you, Denise. And so these kind of give a little bit almost like a a stamp like a postage stamp edge right 
And again, I think this would be fun to do like here, here. Okay, then there was this one, this thought bubble or speech bubble. This is a Fisker's um, Piper Punch as well. So with this one, I did just these little tabs. And I just thought these were kind of cute because it would have the, the rounded sides here and then the pointy side and then the smaller rounded side there. So then I, hmm, let me cut this one down. Let's see if I can get it in there to fit. It's a little, no, maybe I need to, let me cut. Uh, so you could do it so that it had the little speech thing there, but I don't think I want that there. So I'm going to cut this like this. Yeah. So then what I did was I brought it over. Part way, so I'm only like three quarters of a way of the way in. Try and do it fairly straight, and then that gave me just a kind of an a fun little tab shape, where I had the nice rounded corners on this side, and not so much on that side. And again, I think that would be super cute at the top, at the bottom. So again, two-way tape or glue. Yeah, that's great too. Now this, let's just see if I can. You know, I'm gonna put this. There. Oh, I could do this for hours. <laughs> I was just loving playing and getting out the so this is why I was sort of saying in, in the introduction, there at the beginning I was like, oh, these don't really fit in any of my die cuts. Maybe I need to find something or my paper punches. But anyways, I didn't. I was good. I resisted the temptation to go and buy something that I really don't. I don't really need because I have all kinds of things here to play with. Let's do this one again. Just kind of squeeze it a little tiny bit so that you can make sure that it's centered the way you like it. And bing, bang, booey. Oh yeah, that's fun. That's great. Okay, now tags. So the tag, again, I do believe I had to cut it So now, I don't know if you can see, what I decided here, this tag has like this one, two, three scallops, and then the flat bit about on the top. I decided that I wasn't necessarily interested in having all of the scallops cut necessarily. So I just kind of went up to the top. Now that's gonna cut off part of the 10. So let's try, let's just see. See, I can get that nine in there nicely. So I'm gonna do it like that as opposed to cutting off the 10. So then just, there we go. That looks pretty good. So then I get this flat edge, which I'm totally fine with, right? So, these sorts of things, you wouldn't necessarily have to put the grommet in there if you didn't want to. Um, it's just a fun thing to use. But I really like putting the grommets in because I like the look of hardware on some of my embellishments. See, what does the three, how does the three come out? Oh yeah, that's gonna be fun. Okay, so then just squeeze a little bit. Make sure that you like how it looks. It's all centered. Oh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. That's super fun. So this would look great too. 
You know, it could be the kind of thing where it's a tab where you just have the heart showing. Um, and if you maybe could use this as a, yep, you could kind of use that as a little bit of a tuck spot there. So I would, I would get some thin two-way tape, stick that down so that the hearts just stick out a little bit, or use a really thin line of glue, and then just stick that like that. Cute. Cute. Now what I wanted to do just before we're done, I wanted to show you a very, again, super, super, super easy way um, to use the cards to make pockets. Um, so what I thought you could could do is, so I, my birthday was the 26th of May. My dad's birthday is the day after mine. So I made a little pocket for the 27th of May. And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to create two pockets so this way um, I can tuck something in about what we did, like a little note about what we did for my dad's birthday or a couple of photos. So let's say it's like this. Then I can make it so that this pocket is a side pocket like that. I think this is a really fun way of, of marking the date. So any anniversary, just anything that has any real significance to you. So that's that there. And then I just used my May, rub, one of my May rubber stamps. I made a whole bunch of them where I just stamped them out on old dictionary pages and then ripped it and glued that on there. So that's going to be, yeah, this would be good. Right? So I just have to figure out later do how I want this pocket to work. And then, after I thought about doing that, I made I, this one. So my best friend Katrina, her birthday is the 16th of July. So I was like, okay, I wanna do this again, and I wanna make another interesting pocket. What do I do? So I just got this craft envelope, and I cut the top off of it. Now, just before I made the video, I was just sort of staring at this, and I was like, ah, how can I make this interesting? So I made a little tab, which I just can't get enough of that label maker. And then I will jazz this up at some point, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down onto the back of the cards. Then I'm going to turn this into a belly band so that it's not just the same pocket as what I would have done for my dad's birthday. And then I thought, okay, then I can slip something this way. So let's do that very, very quickly. Um, I have some very thin quarter, um, let's just make sure that I'm telling the truth before I say, I believe this is this is an eighth of an inch, which can come in very, very handy sometimes. So what I'm gonna do is just put this here. I don't know what we did before two-way tape. <laughs> How did we survive? I remember the first time I saw two-way tape, okay, because I'm a dinosaur and I'm 100 years old. It was when my parents my parents still had their really old windows in the on the house before people were putting in energy efficient windows and they were my parents house is a hundred, over 100 years old now and uh you would you would buy the plastic kits show of hands how many people remember these you would you would put the two-way tape around the windowsill like all the way around the window from top to bottom. Then you would put the clear plastic on and then you use the hair dryer and you would shrink the plastic to fit the window. And it was supposed to help, and it did actually, um, for the most part, it would help keep the draft out of the windows. And that was the first time I saw two-way tape. I used it in a lot of apartments, I have to say, because I lived in some pretty crappy apartments in my, 20s and 30s and 
but it never occurred to me that I'd be able to, not then anyways, that I would be able to use it in, uh, in crafting. Okay, again, you know, this is really rudimentary and very plain and simple. So you could obviously edge this with the ink. You could do some stenciling on the back of this. You could cover this with nicer paper, but for now in the interest of just keeping it simple for the demonstration, I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, like you need to, you don't need me to do all of the things because you want to personalize this and come up with your own idea of how you can take it one step further or just make it that little bit more interesting than sort of the this, some of this basic stuff that I'm doing here, right? Okay, so we'll put that, I think, I think also, oh, it's catching, it's stuck, it's going in the middle, <laughs> whether I wanted to or not. Okay. Where's my little piece of paper? So this was the idea, that I would put something in there behind that. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. I think, I think that's super fun. Okay, so those were two easy peasy pockets. Now the last thing I'm gonna quickly do is, so here at the very beginning, I showed you Where's the, here, this kind of thing, right? To mark the 18th of May. Um, I had this scrap of some corner paper and I was like, ooh, you know what I could do? I could put a card on that. Put your brad in there. Press that down and there you go. So there's some, you can put a little photo underneath there. It doesn't have to be hidden journaling. Again, it could be quote or something like that. So then let's pick a potential spot, something like that. Or it could be, again, we could just be doing it. You know, you could just do the one side here with the tape or the glue and just stick that in there. Um, it could be a pocket. It could be a pocket over here. <laughs> you know, again, I feel sort of silly doing this on some level because, you know, we all know where pockets go, but I somehow still feel compelled <laughs> to move it around. Yeah, I don't like this on the white, I have to say. I would need something that... Uh, yeah, we'll have to go somewhere like maybe there. Or something like that. That works for me too. I kind of like that. And then the. Good. Anyhow, I could play with this all day, but I'm going to end it there because I think I have gotten my point across for you. Um, yeah, so just a little sort of recap. We've got potential something like that. Um, we've got the fun little tabs down here. Now, I mean, you don't have to use these kinds or this. I mean, any of the edging scissors, like pinking shears would be fun too if you had pinking shears. I think these came from Michael's. These were a set a long, long, very long time ago that my parents had got me for Christmas. But any of these like fun little scalloped, let's just quickly try. I know I said I was going to leave it, but let's just, I have to say these, these scissors cut really nicely on these cards better than I, oh yeah, see that's fun. So then you could do, there we go, instant tab on the side with your nice scallopy edges, right? Um, Provo Craft is what these are called. You might be able to find these on Amazon. Um, and this one from Denise was Craft Edgers. So I highly recommend. Those are a lot of fun. So we have that. So then we have this down here. Six for June. The mini tab here, like what we did with this one. With... Um, this one. Q. 
here. So we've got the corner tuck up there as potential. Things that spin just because. One, a one somewhere. This doodly doot, little hidden journaling. And then this pocket with as a belly band. So yeah, so that's it. Um, that's all I got for today. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that you will find some inspiration, even if you're not really into numbers as much as I am. Make yourself some hidden paper clips. I did this in the video um, the other day. I will link this video down below. It's ridiculously easy. And all you need is your glue and some scissors, and you can make hidden paper clips. No problemo. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate all your kind words and support. If you like this video, please give it a little thumbs up. Um, so have a great night, everybody. Uh, speak kindly to yourselves. Enjoy your journal. Do things just because they're fun and they're pretty. And don't worry about anything else other than just having a really good time being creative, experimenting with some of your tools. So I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye, everybody.